like we report last time, that the BRP Jose Rissel is depart to Guam. Now the Philippine Navy's missile-capable frigate, BRP Jose Rissel, FF-150, arrived in Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, Hawaii on August 15. To participate in the upcoming RIM of the Pacific Exercise 2020, RIM Pac-20, to be conducted from August 17 to 31. The crew of FF-150 conducted manning the rail and further rendered salute to USS Missouri and USS Arizona while entering Pearl Harbor. This is in honor of the fallen heroes during World War II. The contingent were welcomed by the officials from Philippine Consulate General to Honolulu, Hawaii, led by Consul General Hosolito A. Jimeno. In line with the COVID-19 protocols, the PN contingent were not allowed to get off the ship. Instead, the task force commander and skipper of BRP Jose Rissel, Captain Jerry Y. Garrido, talked with the Consul General via telephone after the mooring of the ship. Captain Garrido thanked the Consul General for the warm welcome rendered to them. With the arrival of BRP Jose Rissel in Hawaii, he considers this exercise as an opportunity to provide the PN with the latest training and techniques in modern naval warfare. FF-150 will be moored for three days to the port for logistical purposes, with the personnel not leaving the ship. This is to observe health and biosafety protocols in ensuring the welfare of around 120 sailors and aviators due to COVID-19 pandemic. The RIMPAC-20 exercise will be executed purely at sea. All key components of the NTG shall simultaneously participate in the surface, air, subsurface and maritime security operations. The exercise will give a unique training opportunity for the participating nations, including the Philippine Navy, to enhance their proficiency to integrate into an international force and improve readiness to contribute to a wide range of potential coalition operations. According to the Philippine Navy, the participation aims to advance its maritime operational capability to multilateral level, as well as to increasing readiness and interoperability.